No offense. He's done an amazing job. Let's look at the starting lineups for today's ball game. No surprises whatsoever. Jalen Suggs may have benefited the most. Three-point shots for the Hawkeye. There's Bohannon leading the charge. Ball is knocked away by Suggs, and a foul is going to be called against the Hawkeye. Get camera on Luca Garza and Drew Timmy, both very skilled and active big guys. Another steal for the Zags. Here comes Suggs. Has it knocked away? Off the leg. Of off the break, or they move it with the pass very well up court. Zags is a team shooting seven points per game as a freshman. Recruited by Hyatt. Yeah, makes it easy for everybody. Absolutely. Because if you play him one on one, he's got a variety of moves he can go to inside. And this team is so unselfish as Suggs mm. comes right back with the trip and nimble. And there's Garza doing what he does. He's unlucky on the bounce there, but he does a great job finding angles where there appear to be no angles. Suggs, long range three. It's good. Bangs another one. <laughs> Really outstanding offensive teams. Now, I know both are knocked as far as what they don't do defensively. And clearly, if either is going to win a championship, the defense does have to get better. But I think the high octane. Murray comes up a little short. Here comes Suggs. He's already made a couple of threes. Little hesitation and crossover. Gets the basketball back. He is destined to try to get that ball into the bucket. Case of Suggs forcing the contact, as you said, he was just. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, to your question, yeah, I thought it was worth of it in the second half sometime. Off balance shot by Murray. And Suggs has it blocked away on the opposite ends. So step back three is good. And that's his third three. He just seems to be the objective, at least right now. Skip pass to the corner. Three is no good. And the drought is a little more than three and a half minutes for the Hawkeyes. Suggs for three again. Yes. Well, look how quick they get it up and down. The and there's Larry. Expect until the middle of this week. And that's why Mark Few was a little concerned about timing and rhythm. And they're in rhythm right now. But you notice in our conversation with him, I said, you've got a competitive bunch. Yes. And make Gonzaga play more in the half court. First bucket for Connor McCaffrey. Suggs with 15 points. Trying another three, gets oh, another three. Oh, Suggs now. I think the Hawkeyes are going to have to try to get some stuff in transition when it avails itself. Because these guys are definitely going to do transition action. Yeah, the average oh. guys really needed that. And Suggs with the answer and a pretty finish. Just so strong and poised in there. You never see him really rush. Yeah, you, Probably because he's so strong. And you alluded to the work ethic. There's, you'd be hard to press to find somebody with the kind of work ethic he has in Snemhard. He's, he's trying, trying to force something yeah. in. Yeah, he overdid it there. He should have passed that ball out. You don't have your initial move to beat the double team. You maybe give it one more pause, but after that, you got to get rid and of it. That last play was an example of the offense creating. What can they put together? Six seconds. Successive stops. There's one. Yep. Run right to the floor. Frederick going right to the rim. Blocked away into it. Bohannon. Bohannon fires three. No good. He's just been off today. Ayayi with the rebound. Here we go in transition. The alley up to Suggs, and he can't jam it home. Yeah. Clark. And they came in making an average of 12 of 29. But some of that credit you have to give to the Gonzaga Bulldogs, especially in that first half, because there weren't a lot of quality threes to be had. I thought the perimeter defense from Gonzaga was really pretty good. And Suggs falls to the floor.